Welcome, I am Linda Welbrock, the founder of Leading Women Entrepreneurs, and I'm thrilled to have with us today, Janet Nagel. Hi, I'm Dr. Janet Nagel of the Nagel Center for Cosmetic and Laser Surgery. Welcome, uh, Dr. Nagel. We are so thrilled to have you in the 2018 class of Top 25 Leading Women Entrepreneurs. Um, you are someone that is helping us with our health and well-being and looking our best. Um, so we applaud you and thank you, obviously, for that. Um, so talk, talk to me a little bit about how you got into this industry. Well, I started out not even knowing I was going to become a doctor. And uh, at one point I was going into medical photography when I got a call, can you be in Manila on Tuesday, Manila, Philippines. I got a call on Friday to start medical school. There was an opening. Mm -hmm. And so I went off to the Philippines, ended up transferring back, got my American degree, and ended up in ophthalmology. But when I was in ophthalmology, I really liked dermatology, ENT, plastic surgery, as well as ophthalmology. So I found a niche where I can do all of that on the face and around the eyelids. Interesting backstory. I, I had a call to be in Manila next week. I don't know <laughs> if I would necessarily say uh, say yes, but I like that risk taking uh, <laughs> that uh, trait about you. That's incredible. Uh, so, talk to us about a little of the services you provide to women and your most popular ones. Well, the most popular one. First off, we do both cosmetic and reconstructive. So I do a lot of droopy eyelids, kids with congenital defects, skin cancers around the face and the eyelids, reconstructing eyelids that are gone from a skin cancer. But the other half of the practice is cosmetic, and that's my passion. I love being able to make women feel better about themselves with a simple injection such as Botox or Dysport, fillers such as Restylane or Juvederm, and um, we actually do a liquid facelift now. So tell me about the liquid facelift. So the liquid facelift, we're using a combination of the neurolytic agents, Botox and Dysport, as well as fillers, such as Sculptra, which stimulates your own collagen to firm and thicken and lift up the skin. And how long has that been available? Uh, it's been available for probably 15 years now. Mm -hmm. I haven't heard of that one. I think that we all need a class on, you know, all these uh, surgeries 101 or all of, what would you, there, some of them aren't surgeries, so no, non-invasive I mean, non ways to look your best. Correct, <laughs> correct. We do a lot of surgery, but we also do a lot of non-invasive, you know, injections and treatments. Um, we also do lasers and um, I have my own med spa in the practice, which is nice. So whenever I feel I need to pick me up, I go get a salt facial. Oh, that sounds like a plan. Now, do you do a lot of education around um, all of the services that you have? Because I'm thinking, I'm seeing a leading women entrepreneur event there. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely, would love to. Uh, you know, I think that that is something that a lot of women would be interested in learning more about what is obviously perfect for them in terms of what making them look better. Right. Great. Exactly. So, what are some of the biggest challenges that you face in in this industry? Well, you know, I've been doing this for a long time, over 30 years, and when I started, there weren't a lot of women in medicine, and there certainly weren't a lot of women surgeons, so it's been an, an uphill battle at times, but that's probably why I ended up in my own practice, because then I could do what I wanted to do, what I felt right, nobody could boss me around, <laughs> and I guess it's because the, I'm the oldest of four girls, so I was used to being in charge. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah, no, that's one of the best things about being an entrepreneur, right, mm -hmm. is that you can control your own destiny and, and make things the way that you see fit. Um, so in terms of innovations, though, I mean, it must be an industry that's, you know, coming up with all different things all the time. How do you make sure that you're staying ahead of things and balance that? So um, there's a lot of equipment that comes out, and I've been doing this long enough. I've figured out that you don't want to be the first on the block doing it because the next month there might be something better. And also, you want to make sure it has results. I don't do anything on a patient I wouldn't do on me or a family member. So, you know, I'm my best advertisement sometimes. You know, people will walk in and say, what did you do new? Your skin looks even better than normal. So, um, you know, you have to try out things and make sure you're going to get results. Because otherwise, you're going to have an unhappy patient, and we don't like that. So what is the latest facials that, are you providing that as well? Yes, so in my med spa, we just uh, over the last six months got a salt facial in, 
And the salt facial has a blast of salt, which is hydrating and antiseptic. And then there's the second part is an ultrasound treatment, which drives the product below the skin. And the third part is an LED light, um, light emitting diodes, where depending, we pick the color, depending what we're trying to do, either treat acne or anti-aging. And um, the LED lights were developed by NASA for wound healing in space. And they stimulate the cells at the mitochondria level. So they're kind of cool. Okay, I'm signing up for that. <laughs> Sold. <laughs> Your skin does look amazing. Thank you. So, all right, our last question today is about our theme, which is transforming tomorrow together. How do you think we can do that? Well, I think this is a fabulous opportunity, and I'm so honored to be elected a uh, finalist in the Leading Women Entrepreneurs. And it's such a great group of women that are so supportive of each other. And that's been, you know, missing in some aspects of my life, um, you know, being in a man's world, being a surgeon. It's so nice to have women you can talk to and bounce ideas off of. And, you know, there's a lot more to having a medical practice than just doing medicine. There's the business aspect. I actually just built a building where I moved my practice to. So, you know, I've had to learn a lot of things um, by the seat of my pants. Yeah, and that's part of, you know, transforming tomorrow together is, is doing that together. Correct. And lifting each other up personally and professionally. So we are that community for you. We're so thrilled to have you a part of it this mm -hmm. year. And we can't wait to come test out some of these uh, services that you just discussed. <laughs> We'd love to have you. Okay, congratulations. Thank and you. And welcome to the, to the group. Thank you.